Welcome back once again to a little bit of Lisp. This time we're going to look at the difference between a vector and an array. It's going to be a really short one because the definition is very simple. If I just hop over to this machine again, we can go to the spec and we can see that's not the spec. This is the spec. Here we go. Um, that a vector is any one dimensional array. So let's go and have a look at a few arrays. We, we can see they're being defined a couple of ways here. We have a couple of uh, literal like a couple of array literals um, and then a couple of calls to the make array function where you can provide a lot more info and details uh, for a more specialized kind of array. Um, if you haven't seen this before, this is the syntax for defining a two-dimensional array. Um, this is the first dimension, this will be the second dimension here. Um, so let's have a look. Let's go by our logic. Here's array zero. Also note that if you if you wanted to use this dimensional um, notation for a literal, uh, for a one-dimensional literal, you can do uh, 1a, 1, 2, 3, and that does work, but we're not going to mess with that for now. It's just tidier to use the uh, hash on its own when it's only one-dimensional. So we've got array zero. Uh, we can check that it's an array using the array p predicate. It's p for predicate at the end, which is a function that gives you true or false depending on something. So in this case, whether it's an array or not. So let's do array zero. We can see that it is indeed an array. In fact, we can zip through these and we can see that all of them are arrays, which is a surprise to no one. Um, but now we're gonna look at vectors. So let's go and look at vector for array zero. We can see that yes, indeed it is a vector. And surprise, surprise, array one is not because it's two dimensional. Array 2 is because it is a single dimension array. We're only providing 3 here. And this, again, this list that contains 2 and 2, these are as a 2 by 2 array. Um, so once again, we wouldn't expect that to be a vector, and it's not. So we've hit a couple of things. What a vector is, just a one dimensional array. We've seen a, um, a couple of different predicates for telling if something is an array or a vector. I think that's all we need to look at for now. So I'll catch you on another episode. Thanks for stopping by.